Hello, today I'm in the Conwy Valley in Snowdonia and yes, I'm at an old church, but that's not what I'm going to be looking at today because actually, as well as sitting in a churchyard, I'm in the middle of a 2,000 year old Roman fort. The fort is called Canovium and it was built in 75 AD. It's actually the last in a line of defences from Chester to Sagontium at Carnarvon, reaching the sea. Interestingly, the Romans took Anglesey just two years after this fort and Sagontium at Carnarvon were built, took Anglesey in 77 AD. So very strategic position. The fort has actually had two phases, so it was built first with an earth rampart and with timber buildings inside the area. In the mid 2nd century AD, it was actually rebuilt out of stone and the buildings were made out of stone. There would have been watchtowers and gateways and it would have been a really impressive site, but it was abandoned in 180 AD. The churchyard here lies in the northeastern corner of the fort, but the fort wasn't alone, as well as all of the magnificent buildings that would have been in a Roman fort, it also had um, a bathhouse down by, uh, nearer towards the river. There's also a dock down there that nobody's really sure how early it is and could have been associated with the Roman fort. Additionally, outside of the Roman fort, there was something called a vicus, which was a civilian settlement, so maybe where the families of the soldiers lived. With a lot of archaeology, not a lot of it can be seen above ground. So a lot of the time what we're looking for is lumps and bumps in the ground, literally. And you can see one just here. Now that is the remainder of what is called a rampart, which is basically a bank and a ditch that surrounds a fort, basically a defensive bank and ditch. This fort here was an auxiliary fort, and although it was governed by a legion, it wouldn't have been legionary soldiers who were based here, it would have been auxiliary soldiers. Now, auxilia in Latin means to help, and a lot of them signed up voluntarily. Some were taken by force, but they weren't Roman civilians. They were from the Roman Empire that had signed up to help. Essentially, the incentive for this was that after 25 years and they retired, they were granted citizenship. And that also meant that they were legally allowed to marry. So very important. What they gave back was that they would have been recruited from different areas across the empire that would have had very different fighting styles to the Roman soldiers. And that would have given them, or the, the Roman army, a kind of a, a new suite of defences of these incredibly skilled fighters that they wouldn't have had before. Very clever tactic. Just back at the church now and just thinking about what a peaceful place this is. Um, there's a wedding here on Saturday as well which would just be beautiful but let's go back almost 2,000 years to when the fort was here and um, made up of these auxiliary soldiers, it would have been such an international place. They would have all spoke or get their commands in, in Latin, but um, where would they all have been from? It would have been a really, really interesting, busy place with lots and lots of people. But don't forget that people who lived here before then too, imagine having a massive army just arrive um, in, your, in your fields um, and set up this enormous camp. It would have been really very scary and you know, must have been outraged at it all. Um, you know, this is quite early in the period when the Romans not only came to Britain, but especially came into Wales, took them a bit longer to get here than into England. Just a note on the church while we're here as well, which really does have its, its own fascinating story. It's actually 13th century and was built at the time um, when the monks were at Mainan Abbey, um, not far from here, uh, which was a massive, massive abbey, uh, probably in the whole of North Wales, actually, um, based in the Conwy Valley. And that's got its own story too, because originally Aberconwy Abbey was in Conwy. If you've ever been to the church in Conwy or the churchyard, the, the original footings of the church there are the abbey. But when Edward I planted his foreign town of Conwy and built the castle there, coming in, invading, building his castles, he actually moved the abbey from Conwy down to Mainan Abbey. 
that's how big of a force he was and how many changes he made. So this church was actually established by the monks of Mainan Abbey at around that time and really is worth a bit of an explore in itself. If you've enjoyed this little video, please do like and share. And if you press on the subscribe button, then you'll have a little notification next time I upload one of my adventures. Thanks. Bye bye.